Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We are four hours away from kickoff here in Seattle. And as most of you are already aware, I intend on streaming the whole game. So come on by about one o'clock. The stream should go live. We'll catch the end of the early games and then we will tune into the Seahawks and see how they fare against the Panthers. So um, just some last minute game notes. Most of this stuff was known yesterday, but uh, just covering it real quick. The Seahawks have used two practice squad elevations on linebacker John Radigan and safety Tease DeBoer from Brady Henderson. Um, Tease DeBoer being elevated is pretty obvious. We have multiple safeties that may or may not play in this game, so Tease DeBoer is up just in case one of them can't go, or if one of them goes and then they go down in the middle of the game, you want to have a guy like Tease DeBoer around who did play a little bit last year. I'm not really calling him a good player, but he proved that he at least could hang in the NFL to a certain extent, so makes sense. And Radigan's elevation is his third elevation of the year. We like him on special teams, clearly, so I imagine we're going to be signing him to the 53 after tomorrow unless we feel like Drake Thomas can do the exact same thing. So John Radigan, we'll, we'll see what his fate is after, to, um, after tomorrow. Um, that's about it for the elevation stuff. A couple of injury notes. Um, this is kind of the uh, newer piece of news. You may have not seen this before you tapped out last night, but late last night it was announced that Jamal Adams is not expected to play today against the Panthers. So probably not going to have Jamal Adams. I kind of felt like this was coming all week. I could kind of feel it in the way Pete Carroll was talking about it. I could kind of sense that there was an understanding that today's not the day. He's just not going to... We're not going to push it with him. We're going to make sure everything is 100% ready to rock. And then he's, and then we're going to roll with it. We're not going to roll with it because we feel some obligation to. We're going to roll with it when it feels right. So Adam's not playing today. That's the expectation. So just mentally prepare for that. It is expected that he will play next week against the Giants, however. So if he doesn't play in that game... Then it's time to start scratching our heads a bit, wondering when is this going to uh, go away? When is this going to stop? So, got that. A little bit of good news from Schefter related to Metcalf. We heard about this yesterday, as uh, l late last night as well. He is expected to uh, play. But I never really doubted that that much. Um, I didn't think Metcalf was going to miss a game due to pain tolerance stuff, and that's what it sounds like it is mostly. Um, it's not great, of course. He, it's, his ribs might be cracked, and if his ribs are cracked, that's something he's got to deal with all season, but it is what it is. That's what happens in the NFL, and there are some players who will miss games because of things like that. I don't believe that Metcalf is one of them. All right, so we've got a lot more injury questions, but apparently most of those guys are going to play, so it seems like the news is about as good as we could hope for right now. All right, see you guys later. Go Hawks. See you guys in four hours for the stream. Uh, have fun with these early games. Catch you guys later. Last minute game notes in the books.